welcome to Workout Wednesdays with me, Leon Taylor. Today, we've got something highly energetic. This is a HIIT workout. When we get going, it's gonna be 15 minutes non-stop, high intensity interval training. For the first few minutes, so I'd like you to get yourself moving. So it's really important that you're warmed up. So if you're not warmed up already, while you're listening to me and you're about to follow this, start to bring some movements into the major parts of the body. So training in this way has many advantages. We're gonna use the whole body, it only takes less than 20 minutes from start to finish. And of course you get the added uh, bonuses of burning fat, burning calories, boosting your metabolism, but it is important that you look after yourself. So as you start to move, as I'm doing, into some of the major joints of the body, start to do a few squats to warm up the body. We're gonna do six different exercises today. I'd like you to modify each one that appropriate to your level of fitness. We're gonna use those as a little bit of a warm up. So the first exercise is actually quite a dynamic one. So we're gonna be moving side to side. So it looks like this. So you're bringing into the arms. So we're doing a leap from side to side. It doesn't need to be too far, but it needs to be far enough so it's not quite running on the spot. So just do a little bit of this now as we warm up. We're gonna call this side to side. So we're gonna to start to play with the speed. So the level of intensity is up to you. So that's the first exercise. The second one you'll be familiar with, it's the lunge. So stepping forward, hands on the hips probably gives you the most stability. Notice how my back knee doesn't bounce off the floor, but I'm not doing this. So we're looking for a nice, strong lunge. And again, we can start to bring a bit of speed in. You can always bring it into plyometric lunges. That's exercise two. Exercise three of six is a combo. It's a squat thrust, push-up combo. So do this with me. Squat thrust, we'll do three of them. And then three push-ups, of course. You can drop to your knees on the push-ups. And on the squat thrust, you can just bring the feet wide. They don't have to come all the way in. So just do a couple with me now. Your version, squat thrust push-up combo. Exercise number four, you're back down. You don't need any equipment for this workout. On the space you're in, bicycle abs. So opposite elbow to knee, small movements or longer movements. So warm this up with me now. Opposite elbow, opposite knee. You'll feel this one, bicycle abs. Okay, back up onto your feet. Exercise number five is the burpee. Many of you will be familiar, this is what it looks like. Hands go down on the floor. Step one foot back, the other foot back. Foot forward, foot forward, reach up. It's the most important bit. Of course, you can move more dynamically. Your choice. So you've got accessibility there throughout. Final one back down in the core. Either a forearm plank hold, alternatively, plank up, plank down. So warm this up with me now after you've done a few burpees. Plank up, plank down. Okay, I'm going to be doing it with you six exercises. The timings are 30 seconds on, 10 seconds off, 30 seconds on. 20 seconds, and then the next pair of exercises is the same, 30, 10 rest, 30, 20 seconds. Final pair, three rounds of five minutes, so it's just 15 minutes to take us through. Okay, make sure you're warmed up, make sure you've got some water nearby. You can always come back to this later. In fact, save these workouts and do them regularly. Okay, are you ready? 30 seconds of side to side. Three, two, one, let's go. So, because this is round one, just start to, build up the intensity. So stepping side to side, small or large, you can do any combination, you're halfway through this exercise. So this is quite plyometric based, you'll feel your heart rate starting to raise. 10 seconds less than to go, five seconds to go. Okay, keep moving, three, two, and one. Okay, stay on your feet, 10 seconds rest. Air into the lungs, we're going to the lunges. <coughs> 30 seconds of lunges. Are you ready? Three, two, one, let's go. So 30 seconds of lunges. Remember, we're after quality of movement. Up to you on the intensity. High intensity interval training. So the interval is the stop start nature of it and the high intensity is that you put an effort in. Final 10 seconds of these lunges. Just five seconds to go. Keep going till I say three, two, 
And one. Okay, 20 seconds rest. That's the first pair of exercises done. Second pair is that squat thrust push up combo and the bicycle abs. We've got 10 seconds, then we're down on the floor. Okay, keep breathing. Five seconds. Okay, squat thrust, do three and then three push ups. So squat thrust and then into your version of a quality push up. Three reps, squat thrust. Push up. Halfway, squat thrust. Push up. Squat thrust. Remember, modify as you need to. Three, two, and one. Okay. Go up onto your knees, get a few breaths, where we're going to be back down on a mat with the bicycle act. We're going in three seconds. Zip up through the core. Two, one. Let's go. Opposite knee, opposite elbow. So you're activating through the obliques as well, strengthening into the intercostal muscles of the ribs, generally throughout the entire core. Hip flexors will be working if this is tough. Move a little less dynamically. If it's easy, you know what to do. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Head on your feet. Okay, 20 seconds. Final pair of exercises to complete round one. Burpee, followed by plank up, plank down, or just plank hold. You've got 10 seconds, okay. So shake the body out, you should, like I am, start to feel quite warm, sweat already appearing, five seconds, burpees. Three, two, one, let's go. So remember the modifications that I offered you. These hit classes are designed for anyone to be able to take part in. You don't need a specific level of fitness to join in. Halfway, you can move as dynamically, as is right for you. So if you're recovering from injury or illness, just remember to bring your training in slowly. Three, two, one, 10 seconds to breathe. Okay, stay on your feet, fill your air, fill your lungs with air, and then on the floor, plank up, plank down. So either holding here in forearm plank, this is a broken plank. This is an unbroken plank. So this is what you're after, of course, you've got the option to start to, to do the plank up, plank down. You're already halfway through this, through this exercise. Coming up to the end of round one in five seconds. So holding plank or plank up, plank down, three, two, one. Whew. Breathe, you're 50 seconds there. An extra 30 seconds are like kind. So, the intention is to keep moving, keep the heart rate going, of course. A sip of water. Not too much though. Small sips, better than giant gulps. And we're doing that again. 30 seconds and we go again. So, high intensity, your choice. Up to you how hard you push. If you've done round one, you're feeling nice and warm, maybe you start to have, it's only 30 seconds per exercise. We go again in 15. <clears throat> so, make sure you've got your space. Side to side, and then lunges. We're going in 10 seconds. So as you go side to side, you can move a little bit more dynamically, but looking after any injuries you might have. Three, two, one, let's go. So side to side, if you wanna really go side to side, maybe a little bit, so it's up to you, but just keep moving for the entire 30 seconds. You've already done 10. Whew. Halfway. So springing from one side to the other. 10 seconds to go. <clears throat> Five seconds. We're just over actually. Right. So come on, three, two, one. Whew. Okay, back into the lunges. Only 10 seconds. Interval training. This is where the magic happens. We're going in three, two, one. Let's go. Stay with the form. I'm giving you the options here on the lunges. Notice how my back knee goes close to the floor, but it doesn't bounce off the floor halfway. For those of you that want something with a bit more potency, you're welcome to move into plyometric lunges. But of course, it's up to you. Three seconds. Two, 
and one. Okay, 20 seconds, get some air into the lungs. Remember the second pair, squat thrust, push up combo, and then bicycle abs. Okay, you're going 10 seconds. So three and three is fine. Three squat, th squat thrusts, excuse me, and push abs. Okay, three, two, one, let's go. So here are your options, moving the legs out wide. And of course with the push ups, you can have your elbows brushing by your ribs, or you can have back wide. So wherever works for you, those are the two extremes. So whatever intensity is good for you. Different push ups are obviously fine as well. Three and three. Three, two, and one. Okay. So on your feet, try and get some air into the lungs. It's important you don't collapse in, in between each exercise. Bicycle abs, on your back, ready? Off we go. So, making sure that lower back is glued to the surface that you're on and that you're twisting. You don't have to touch elbow to knee, but that's the intention, the direction that you're going in. You roll well over halfway. You have 10 seconds to go. Final five. If you want to hit the accelerator, up to you. Three, two, one. Okay, good, 20 seconds. On your feet, shake it out. You still with me? Let us know how you're going on. Let us know what you want to see more of. Take your friends, people involved keep our fitness levels high. Okay, final pair. Remember, it's the burpee, plank up, plank down. Three, two, one with the burpees. Off we go. Making sure you're reaching up in the air in between each one. So the options, stepping forward and back, reaching up. More dynamic, you can always do chest to floor burpees. I know that's a favorite with many people. Up to you, and of course, final 10 seconds. So, if you've got more energy, step it up. Three, two, and one. Okay, 10 seconds. Keep breathing. End of round two coming up, but not before we've done the plank. Plank up, plank down. Three, two, one, let's go. So a fixed plank rather than a broken plank. Up and down, you want to keep that core zipped up. Very difficult. Big moving like this, and the big moving with stability. 10 seconds to go. Almost at the end of round two. Only six minutes of this workout remaining. Less than three, two, one. On your feet. Okay, two rounds done. Five minutes to go. You're doing well, obviously it's a complete lie, I can't see you. You might just be watching this and eating chocolate cake, but I don't know. If you're with me, you've got a final, final push. This is your chance to turn up the intensity. You have 30 seconds. Once again, sip the water, deep breaths. Stop talking. Okay, 20 seconds. <clears throat> Six exercises, you know the drill. This is your chance to really turn it up now from an intensity point of view if it works for you. This is where you get the benefit, you get the afterburn, the metabolic boost. All the benefits are yours to keep. You'll be burning calories way after this workout's finished. This is why this training is so effective. Are you ready? Three, two, one, let's go. So, 30 seconds of the side to side. So you can go a little bit lower. You can be even more springy, whatever you need to do to make it more intense. My time has gone blank, but I'll be able to figure it out. Over halfway. 10 seconds to go. Side to side. Three. Five seconds to go, sorry. Three, two, one. Okay, there we go, okay, 10 seconds rest. You got this. So next up is the lunges. <coughs> Three, two, one. 30 seconds of the lunges. Cool. So, the quality of movement. Depth of the squat and intensity. 10 seconds gone. Okay. So, halfway. If you've got those plyometric lunges in you, if you're not doing them already, maybe you join me for the final 10 seconds. Five seconds to go. Three, 
two, one, good. Whew, it's the last time you have to do lunges this workout. Squat thrust, push up combo. 15 seconds, you ready? And the bicycle abs, you know what you're doing. <clears throat> okay, deep breaths, five seconds of the back. Three, two, one, let's go. So, this is the squat thrust. Then you're into your version of the push up. Squat thrust. See how the feet can go wide. Push up, down onto the knees. Quality of movement rather than head nod push ups. Let's see if we can get a bit of depth. Squat thrust. Push up. Five seconds. Good. Whew. Okay, bicycle abs. Only 10 seconds, I know it goes quickly. I'm doing it with you, I'm not just standing here shouting at you. Ready? On your back, three, two, one, go. Okay. So, as always, your choice of the speed and the dynamic length of how far you extend. 15 seconds. So, up to you if you want to keep it steady or start to move with a little bit more speed, but do not compromise quality. Three, two, one. Okay, on your feet. Two exercises to go. This is the burpee, plank up, plank down, or plank hold. And then you're done. 15 minutes, super burn. Okay. Okay, we're going in five seconds with your burpee. 30 seconds of burpees. Three, two, one, let's go. Your choice of intensity. 20 seconds to left. Choose the level that works for you today. I'm working with any injuries or coming back from illness. Always be careful returning to this exercise. Intensity. Five seconds to go. Oh, hold it there, burpees. Okay, last exercise, 30 seconds, then you are done. Let me just keep moving with a warm down. Three, plank up, plank down. Two, one, here we go. So, hold, zipping up the core, or bringing in the plank up and plank down element of it. 15 seconds. Just 10 seconds to go, wherever you are. You've got this across the line. Are you ready? Five seconds to go. And, okay, right, stay with me, stay on your feet. Okay, it's important that you just keep moving. Warm down, so gentle stretches, side bends, moving through the arms. We'll move into straight into a workout Wednesday yoga class, yoga session where I do a restorative style of yoga. If you haven't got time, now, just gently start to stretch through the body that you've been utilizing in this hip workout. So as you're stretching down, it's time for me to say farewell. Make sure you rehydrate, eat some healthy food, stay on it, make your exercise or transform your well-being. Share this with whoever you think might enjoy it. Let us know what workouts you want to see. You don't need any equipment, you just need 20 minutes. So I hope you've enjoyed that. Thanks for joining me, I'll see you again soon. Stretch down, take care, see you soon.